All rise. A crime has occurred at Principia, and two students are being put on trial for it. However, this is only a simulation, not real life. But students like prosecuting attorney Corey Sprague are still getting real life experience in what goes on once a crime has been committed. It's been a really great experience just learning what it's like to be a lawyer and everything and they have to go through a lot, a lot of work and you just are trying to find like what the evidence is and what's really going on and then deciphering that. Teaching assistants Rebecca Pinter and Katie Wallingford have overseen the crime simulation from the beginning. They had final say on what students would play each role and designed the premise of the scenario. Um, the president's daughter named Hez Moffitt hired some people to kidnap her for a ransom and then also to steal a really valuable science and health for money also. Trial simulations aren't anything new for student Jackie Pappas. She acted on the defense team for this class but has participated in similar mock trials in high school. You know, you have to be composed, and so it was a really good opportunity for people to understand that, because movies don't really portray all those elements, so this was step by step of a, a trial. The bottom line is that Wallingford and Pinter want students in the class to take with them a better understanding of the American justice system. As citizens, we're constantly conflicted with issues about whether we, our taxes should go to prisons or whether they shouldn't. The idea of whether or not communities should be alerted that um, sexual deviants have been released from prison. We're, we always hear about these issues in the press. The trial finished up Monday with some closing arguments. Then on Tuesday, the class got together to discuss what went well and not so well with the trial itself. All the while, these students are learning the benefits and the flaws within the American judicial system. This is David Bates for Pilot News.